what's up there and thank you so much for coming to this channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can edit scratch dna like a pro now i'm going to be doing this maybe i'm going to divide this video into two but then today i'm going to show you how you can just start a basic way of editing this so without getting without wasting time please subscribe to this channel and then let's get started oh the scratch dna how do we get here i'm going to be using uh an old skin of virtual dj which is this i love it now for us to get scratch dna we always have to come to this drop down menu here where we can always load all this so you have to make sure it's in scratch also for deck 2 it should be in scratch now we have these these are eight pads over here that you can be using for scratch dna by default but also we have more eight i'll show you how to set that in the next video now we have these that come along here these are all but some of them come by default and this is how they should sound all right just like that all right so that is how scratch dna is supposed to sound um, in the next video i'm going to show you how you can map that simply on your keyboard but for now i'm going to show you how you can start editing now you can put your own for example you can put it in the you can open a scratch dna editor and how do we go about that you have to right click on any of these parts that you want to edit to show up this so it's showing this scratch dna editor this is how it looks some kind of bar chart here who knows all right so i already have this let me clear this for now so in this area here this is where your bits will be showing where your mapping will be showing this is where you'll be entering your commands or the values and this is where you'll be saving it from now we have four bits by default in a song it's one bit okay second bit third bit and then the fourth bit so this is one two three and then four those are four bits so down here you should be able to see a blue line or a black line straight away as soon as you type something in here whatever you'll be typing here will be ranging from these alphabetical mean figures a to z it's not a figure it's not a number anyway but it's a up to z so maybe when you type in this is a or let's say we clear that let's say you type in that's v you see a long blue line okay that is running up to v or let's make it short let's put it into this is e okay so when you type capital e there you see a long blue line that is running up to e so that is a, that is a forward scratch and then if it's back to a just like i mean oh let's remove that it's going to be dark in here it's yeah all right so this is a back scratch to a so it's running to e and back to a this is a baby scratch forward and backward all right so that is a ba basic baby scratch in a one bit let's make it in another bit i mean for you to put something in another bit here you need to separate these things with a full stop or a decimal play point rather in mathematics or a period whatever it is when you put that that means the next thing that you'll be typing in here will be going to the next bit in this area here let's say again it is it's again e and then a you see how we did that so there's another baby scratch inside here is a forward scratch and a back scratch all right so just like i said before you should also be able to see black lines for you to see a black line you need to put uh small letter let's say this other a here was a small letter just like that so this black line here just simply means you won't be able to hear this sound this is a forward scratch a back scratch will not be heard okay so this is how it should sound let's save it down here you select a part you want to save to and then you type the name here baby scratch say okay so when you come here and try so that is how it sounds it's not so amazing so what you're going to do we want to put two baby scratches in the first bit and then two baby scratches in the second bit how do we do that let's come back let's remove some of this here move some of this 
so before we, we are even removing the capital i mean the, the, the decimal point so we need to add another another e and a inside down here let's say we want to add another e and a so just do this and then also in the next bit i said we put a, a capital i mean i mean a decimal point decimal point here yeah? i mean a decimal point put a decimal point to go to the next bit we also put e and a e and and a a not something else it's like that so these are four baby scratches in two bits so when we save this and then listen to it into part one this is how it should sound yeah it's now amazing it's like yeah it's now nice so we want to style it a bit maybe we want to cut out on the back scratches of the last two scratches in the second bit so how do we go about this we have to change that means we have to change this e a i mean this one this a here into small letters just like this let's say it's e a and e a but then we want the e a to be in small or lowercase letters let's just remove that all right so what we mean here is that this a should be in small letter and then the e should be in capital and then the a also in small just like that yeah so when we save it we should be only able to hear two kicks or two forward scratches in the second bit just like this that's nice that's very nice now all right so you can also include again maybe maybe let's copy this again and paste we want to duplicate this and maybe make four of them in the second bit all right so in the second bit we have we're supposed to have four baby scratches but then we have a silence in the back scratches so this is how it should sound if we save it uh-huh once again <laughs> All right, so that is how you go about it guys you can just stylize this maybe you can say from c to d would will not be hard means that means you have to put a cap i mean a small d here and then from d to e you need a capital e for you to listen to that maybe from e to a you need to be listened meaning you'll be putting a capital a from a to e again you want it to be silent put a small e I just don't know how this sounds to you, but that is the concept. I'm going to be going more advanced. This is just basic in the next videos. But one last thing that I should show you before you go is that you can put this up to Z. Z. Okay, that's how you call it. We have from A up to Z. So whatever thing you put, this is Z. But small Z, that's why it's black. And we also have what is called negative. We also have A to Z again in the negative direction. So let's say you put minus z you also have this coming down we also have a up to z coming down in the negative direction so whatever thing you can put in minus b minus e plus a whatever 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 that is how you should do it but then let's not make this so long i have another video coming soon on the same thing we shall be getting advanced at least if you have some more questions just be able to ask in the comment section down below i will be ready to answer you also, please subscribe. We have new videos coming your way. And please give me a thumbs up. What else? I think I have to see you in my other videos. Peace out.